In this video, I'll show you how to use the intersection feature on the TI-8384 series graphing calculators to solve systems of equations and uh, just regular one variable equations graphically. So the first thing you need to do when you're given a system of equations is to um, rewrite both of these equations in terms of y. So I've solved this first one, y equals negative 2x plus 19, and I solved the second one for y also. Next, we're going to press our y equals and input our functions. So the first thing I want to do is clear out this. I'm going to press the clear button, and then I'm going to have negative 2x plus 19. And notice that when I used the negative here, I used this button, not this subtraction button. And then we have 1 half, so I'm going to go ahead and put that coefficient in parentheses. It's not totally necessary, but it helps us keep um, be clear what's being multiplied where. So 1 half x minus 6. Once we have our functions in our y equals screen, we need to choose a window. Let's go ahead and try choosing the window by pressing, using one of our preset windows and doing, let, let's try zoom standard this time. So let's zoom 6. Okay, I am looking for the point where these two lines intersect, and I can see that it's right here, but that's really close to the side of my screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and press window and move that x max a little bit to the right. So let's, instead of going up to 10, let's go up to 15. Let's see if this works. Once again, sometimes it takes a little bit of experimentation with the window to get what you want to see. So now I can clearly see my two lines, and I know they only intersect at this one spot right here. So we have our good viewing window. The next thing to do is to press this, um, to get to the calc menu, is to press second trace. And we are going to choose the intersection option. So we're going to go down here to 5, or you can just press 5 on your keypad here. And we're going to be asked a series of questions. So it asks us to tell the calculator which is the first curve. So we can just press enter here. If you had three different functions on the screen, you'd have to be careful. But since I only have two functions, I can just press enter, and then it asks me for the second curve, and I can press enter again. Okay. The last thing it asks us is for a guess. Now, sometimes we have more than one point of intersection. This particular case has only this one spot, so we could press enter here, or we can move our spider over near our intersection point and press enter. I know that I have found my intersection point when it actually says intersection, and the value here is x equals 10, y equals negative 1. So our solution is the ordered pair 10, negative 1. Let's see a second example of how we can use this intersection feature to solve equations. Let's solve the equation e to the x equals 2x plus 1 graphically. In order to to solve this equation, what we're going to do is we're going to enter the left side of the equation into y1. So that means I'm going to enter this function in for my y1. And the right side, that's this 2x plus 1, in for my y2. So we're going to press our y equals button. I'm going to clear out these two functions. and I'm going to enter e to the x for y1. So remember we get e by pressing second and then ln. And here's my x. So there's my first function. And then for y2, I'm going to enter 2x plus 1. Okay, so remember the steps to graphing. First we have to enter our functions into our y equals screen, and then we need to choose a window by either using a preset or setting it manually. Let's use one of our preset windows. So let's try, my, my two favorite presets are standard and decimal. Let's try decimal this time. So let's go 4. 
Okay, so I see my line, that's the right side of my equation, and I see my exponential, that's my left side of my equation, and it looks like these two functions intersect twice. But I can't see this intersection real clearly up here, so let's change that um, maximum y value to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to press window, and let's go down to y max, and let's see, let's make it five. Let's try five. Press graph. Okay, now I can clearly see I've got two spots of intersection. It looks like it intersects at zero, and then again over here between one and two. Let's find the solutions, or those two intersection points, using my calc menu. So I'm going to go second, trace, Again, I'm choosing intersect, and it takes me through that same series of three questions, first curve, second curve, guess. So since I only have two functions in my y equals, I can just press enter and then enter. And then I've got two intersection points here, so I need to make sure that my spider, my cursor, is near the intersection point that I want. So let's uh, do this first one that looks like it's about at zero, and press enter here. And I get x equals 3.894 e negative 15. So what that is telling us is that our solution is at about x equals 3.894 times 10 to the negative 15. That's in scientific notation. That's the calculator shorthand for scientific notation. Remember, when your calculator is finding solutions to these equations, it's doing a little bit of estimation. So if I were going to write this out in terms of a decimal number, I would need to move the decimal place 15 places over this way. So this is approximately zero. And so we're going to have to round there and say x equals zero. To find the second point of intersection, we're going to need to go through this process again. So we're going to go second trace, we're going to choose intersection, and this time I'm going to press enter, enter, and when it asks me for a guess, I'm going to move that spider over near the second point of intersection. If I don't move it, it's going to give me that first intersection point again. And then press enter again and I get an intersection of x equals 1.2564 about. So our second solution is at about x equals 1.2564. Now there's probably some rounding error in there, but it's, you know, going out to four decimal places, that, that's going to be really close. So our two solutions to the, this equation, e to the x equals 2x plus 1, are 0 and 1.2564. Notice the y value doesn't um, come into play, really. All that tells us is the, the value of our left side and our right side when they're equal. The thing that we're wanting to find is the x values. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful.